going guys? Welcome back. So, um, I'm back for another video before the end of the year, which is awesome. And this is an entry video into a group build that actually already started, which was Christmas Day. And that group build is, um, Cone, Cone Toy Group Build, I believe that's what it's called. Um, which is hosted by Brian over at BG Model Workshop and Trevor over at Luger's Models, I believe. <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Sorry, Trevor. No, I can't remember your name. I think it's Movers Mo Models. I believe so. So those two are hosting the group build, and basically the group build is about is uh, clone a toy, me me meaning um, clone your try to replicate your childhood toy that met you, you know, by your heart when you're a child, and try to do that as a model car or a kit or a sci-fi or whatever it may be, as best as possible. It's so obviously not going to be 100% because sometimes, you know, you don't make a kit like that. But I do got one right here and you might see a little example in the background for you right there. So let's go ahead and show you the car or the toy I'm replicating because I do have it right here in front of me. It's actually still in packaged. Um, well, obviously not the original one I had because the original one is, you know, paints by chipping off it and stuff. But it's probably downstairs my parts bin or my bin of Hot Wheel Cars and that give you away the Hot Wheel Car. So I did find one that's fully packaged. I never opened it because I found it a couple years ago. And speaking of which, who's one of the guys actually hosting this group build actually gave me this car at Acme show last year. Now I don't have it with me. I think it's it's on my TV stand actually. I forgot to pull it off but um, Brian over BG My Workshop he actually gave me the Hot Wheels car, he knew it meant so much to me. I was like, are you kidding me? So Brian actually gave me, gave me a model of it. It's actually my TV stand uh, in its case. So I don't want to pull that one out, but I will show you the one I do have right here. And it's in its own case, so you'll know what it is. So let's go ahead and show you that right now. All right, it's the Hot Wheels car bone shaker, literally bone shaker. This thing meant so much to me, I mean, you just don't know how much it meant to me. Brian actually knows how much. Um, this is the 50th anniversary package, which means, I think this back in 2018, uh, it was Hot Wheels 50th anniversary, and this is such a big deal. I got the 50th anniversary of the Bone Shaker, so, um, the, incredible. So I got this package, and never been open, and here we have it. So. Let's do a little story, a long story short. It's actually a very long story, but we're gonna make it short because I wanna I don't wanna make this video twenty minutes long. So years ago, um I think it was like six or seven, maybe five, I don't know, maybe five or six. Um I saw a video on YouTube or whatever, I don't know where I felt it, but I saw the bone shaker. Some guy had bone shaker, I was like, oh my gosh, it's so cool. Cause I just love the style of it. So um Every time you go to a store that has toys, such as Hot Wheels cars, like we'll go to Walmart or Target or whatever place that sells Hot Wheels cars or toys in general, um, I would really go into the section, the Hot Wheels section, and try to look for the Bone Shaker. Now, obviously, my luck, I could never find it, and I think I just could never find it. I just gave up. So, it was, uh, I believe it was a year ago, or. A year later, if not, probably a little more than a year later, um, I went in the toy section again and just looking around and I actually saw a bone shaker, but the only catch was it was in a 20 pack of Hot Wheels cars. So I would have to buy the whole 20 pack to get the bone shaker I want. So I was like, why not? I'm going to my mom and my mom bought it. It was like 18 bucks because Hot Wheels cars were going like 80 some cents back then. They're still like under a dollar today, so that's pretty neat. So I basically got the whole pack. I mean, the other cars inside the whole, that 20 pack was very cool, but mainly, mainly why I got that 20 pack was just for the bone shaker. So I brought it home and with the out package, and I was just so glad I got it. I played it the heck out of it. Like I mentioned, the original one, I believe I still have it downstairs. The paint is probably chipping off it. I'm pretty sure the front wheels are bent, like the axle. So, yeah, I played the heck out of it. And then Brian gave me his, and then I got this one right here. It's still in his package. So, this is such a 
big deal right here. So, um, definitely a big memory of me. So, this is the one we're going to try to replicate. So, okay, let's go ahead and show you what it is. Okay, now I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same paint scheme. I might do a different paint scheme because um, these bone shaders, they're in millions of different colors. This is just the 50th anniversary. The 50th anniversary um, pack was the matte blue with the orange base and the wheels had a, had a 50 on them. So that's just a 50th anniversary pack, but I might do it in a different color. So let's go ahead and show you how we're going to try to replicate it. Um, I don't have every single part. I'm actually missing one more part, but I'll explain that here in a minute. But we're going to do a demo kit. This is a demo kit right here. So this is the kit actually we base off. The 1932 Ford 500 Coupe by Lavelle. Amazing kit. If you never built this kit, pick one up. I mean, this is a parts dream kit. I mean, almost nine parts short. Uh, only almost, almost 200 parts in this kit. I mean, this kit is wonderful. If you never built this kit, get yourself this kit. Comes with two engines. Well, there's three options, but this engine actually shares. This engine just has a different top, and then you do get a big, big old Hemi, it looks like right there. So that's very cool. Different wheels, uh, tires. There's only one set of tires, but you do get three different wheel options. I mean, this kit is super cool. You can go with or without the fenders. I mean, you can do so much with this kit. So if you don't have this kit, pick one up. I mean, I built one years ago, and it goes together super well. Okay. So that's the that's the demo kit. Now we're not gonna be using the body. The body you see right here is in the background. This is from Jimmy Flimsona. A very cool resin body um, parts. I mean their resin bodies are wonderful. Uh, this is actually my very first resin body I'm actually gonna do. So and I got it in the mail today, and this thing is super clean. I mean, I mean yeah, there's some cleanup you gotta do on, on the windows. I mean that's typical for a resin body, but I mean the mold, this is super clean, um, this is very cool. So and Jimmy and Femme they do make two different versions of this body I believe. They, can, they have one without the rivets on the back on the trunk and I believe they have another one at the door it's all the way through, there's no back door or window back here so but I want to do this one because I thought this one looked pretty cool. So. This is the body we're going to be using. Now, the, I know the Bone Shaker is a truck style body, but um, I don't really care about the body. The only thing that really matters is the actual bone in the front. So, I'll be showing you that here in a sec. But this is the body we're going to be using from Jimmy Flimstone. A very cool body. Cannot wait. And then, the, the, you're wondering, well, how in the heck are you going to do the bone on the front? Well, I got 1932 Ford Grill with the actual bone now that's very cool i know a bone shaker whole front ends a bone but i'm not going to be doing that in real life or in a model obviously so this thing right here is going to make up the whole model i mean this could be this is the holy grill i mean i can really just do this box stock if i want and just step this on and there we go i call it this bone shaker but i want to go with extra milestone go with the body style so and then we got a different grill I mean, this is this is the holy glue right here. Super cool. That is very neat. So we got that, and then I did I did I still have to order the parts, but I am gonna go with them, some aftermarket wheels. I do want to go with big fat rears and very really skinny fronts. Um, I I know a place that sells those, so I'm gonna or go ahead and order those here in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be very cool. So. We got two main parts here and a demo kit. Very neat. Uh, the main star is this part right here because if I replicate the bone on the front grill, that's all that matters. So there we have it, guys. That's my intro for the um, copy or <laughs> copy or clone. There we go. A clone a toy group build. So again, it started Christmas Day, which is already passed, and I believe it goes to March. 28th? I'm not really sure about that. Um, don't quote me on that because I'm not a host. Um, talk to those guys. I think I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna say it, but I think it is March 28th, but I, I'm 
pretty sure I'm wrong about, about that, but whatever. Um, but we'll get this started next year because it's really less than a week away for 2021, so that's awesome. And then we'll get this on a bench and get working on it. So, but until my next video, guys, I do want to wish you all a happy new year. And I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I hope you got a lot. You, I hope you did good this year. I know I did. So, um, I didn't get no models, but I got something different. More expensive than models, I should say. But <laughs> I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, happy new year. And until my next video, guys, I'll catch you guys in 2021. Bye for now.